All right, dude. So the clutch just got in. The exity clutch. I'm pretty stoked. Don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to put it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a lightweight flywheel also, just because why the heck not? But I just kind of want to get into this. So big box, big box. We got the house key. We're gonna get the chop. first i want to give a big shout out to uh k-series parts no matter what i'm buying for the k-series everything that i buy from them gets here sooner than expected and in great condition the box no dings no bangs packed pretty well nothing is jumping around inside of the package so if you're looking for a good place to go for any part for a k-swapped car or a factory K car. Go ahead, kseries.com is a good site. They sell an array of OEM parts and aftermarket parts also. No, I am not sponsored by K Series Parts. So really and truly, that's about all I want to see out of the packaging, just the clutch plate itself, because the pressure plate it's, it's gonna come in decent condition if the clutch is in, in, in good condition. Uh, the best test for that, if you do get a new clutch from any factory, uh, first thing you wanna do is take it out of the box and jingle it around. If you hear a, bu a bunch of spring rattle, uh, I'd be a bit wary. Uh, the last clutch I, clutch I bought actually had a bunch of spring rattle and uh, that's where we're at now. Did I just dig in my nose on camera? Fuck it. Okay, so I got another package. Um, this package is for the computer. For all of my viewers that just really don't care too much about uh, this next technical bit, uh, you go ahead and skip to the end or check out the next video. Uh, it's up to you. Basically, the rest of this video is going to be pretty much tech support. Uh, so if that's where you're going, see you guys next time. Everybody else, let's get to it. If anybody out there that's watching this video knows anything about video editing, video gaming, or just simply processing 4K video on a PC, uh, they would know that you need to upgrade some parts before you can get to it. Uh, so what I have today is a GTX 1050 Ti from MSI. Uh, it's the four gigabyte version. Should give me all the processing power I need graphically to get everything done. Let's check it out. Amazon always coming through with the best packaging in the world. Shouts out to Amazon. So here she is. GeForce 1050 Ti from MSI. Right off the bat, the first thing I'm gonna say about this thing is it is clean. Uh, not only did MSI package it really well, but they also prepared the card really well. So I don't know if you can see there, those are dust boots that cover certain ports and those can be used after the fact. So I'm not gonna be using DVI and I'm probably not gonna be using display ports. So I'll just use my HDMI, have that plugged in and have both of these dust boots plugged in. They also put a protective boot over the PCIe Express or PCIe uh, 3.0 connector. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Uh, if not, let me know in the description. Uh, this channel is not necessarily a tech channel, but there are gonna be a few things like this. Cause like I said in the previous video, I just like to show you guys some of the things that I'm in. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be throwing the uh, graphics card into. Uh, it's an HP Z400. Uh, it's one of their workstation series, which at the time when they were selling brand new, they were selling for pretty expensive. I uh, picked this one up for relatively cheap. Just to give you a little taste of the differences between the two cards that I have, uh, here is the reference card that I had previously in the uh, workstation, and that is an NVIDIA Quattro. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a 500 megabyte graphics card, uh, whereas this guy here is a 400 gigabyte graphics card. And just looking between the two, you can see this is also a dual slot graphics card, whereas this is a single slot. Uh, it's great for the small form factor. 
Um, but if you look at this card, it's actually not all that much bigger than the other card. And if you see what I have in here as far as space goes, there's, there's more than enough space for a decent graphics card in here. Oh yeah, there's what the card looks like inside of the case at this current moment. Um, if you look really closely, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but if you look really closely at that fan, not only is it a very small, and excuse my language, but it's a bitch-ass fan, it's dusty and filled with all types of grut and grot. still spins freely, but you can imagine, small fan like that doesn't really cool the, pe the, the board all that well, but, but I guess if the board isn't all that great, it doesn't actually matter how good the fan is. Uh, that fan on the uh, new CPU, or the new graphics card, is a good bit larger and actually has a larger, uh, I don't know, has a larger something. It's bigger, it's a bigger card. I'm not cutting shit out. Fuck it. Alright, I fell asleep after I got the computer up and running. There's a whole lot of, um... There's a whole lot of uh, stuff that needs to download and update. Other than that, everything's running just as fine on par. Uh, should be good to go. Uh, getting ready to edit the first video on the uh, computer setup, that'd be this one right here. Uh, let me know if it looks any different. I don't think it will, but whatever. Hi. Okay, that, now that we got that out of the way. Catch up with you guys next time. Baby, baby.